I'm Scott Moore, and I'm a performance engineer. I help to make software and applications faster, better, more resilient. Lately, there's one thing on my mind. Where's the best barbecue at, man? So I'm going across the country, talking about performance engineering and barbecue. Join me as we take the performance tour. So as we leave Kansas City, we move on eastward to St. Louis, Missouri, also known as a big barbecue town. The key question is, Kansas City or St. Louis? I think there's a little bit of a rivalry going on there, but I do like the St. Louis spare rib. Now we will have our event hosted at the <laughs> St. Louis, and they're gonna be catering, and they're nice enough to do that, and I think that's awesome. So we're gonna start there, and then at some point, maybe we'll sneak into barbecue. We'll see. Um, I've been around since uh, 1998. I started using Loadrunner version 4. I worked for Deloitte & Touche at the time. In 2004, I launched my own company called Load Tester Incorporated. So you can probably guess what I, I did. And then after, in 2010, I merged my company with a, a company out of Dallas. We called ourselves Northway Solutions Group. I was the CEO of that company. And we were an HP partner. We were a Mercury partner, HP partner. I uh, left, I basically sold my half of the company to my partner in Dallas. He still runs it. And I became a mercenary gun for hire in 2016. And I just, I, I work interesting projects. I love to talk about performance engineering and I, I've got a, loud mouth on LinkedIn. I'm always publishing something or making fun of somebody. Traditionally DevOps people right now because that's my thing to poke the bear at. So has anybody done scaled agile? I'm assuming you have some level of agile development here, right? But have you heard of safe? Okay. Has anybody done safe? All right. About the closest thing to herding cats I've ever experienced in my life and terminology you thought you knew in IT, they totally have do different definitions all of a sudden, right? In that, um, in, in SAFE, they put the performance engineer that does end-to-end -end testing over into the system team, right? And they'll put infosec people, people who specialize in those technical areas kind of over the end-to-end -end piece there, whereas each scrum team is responsible for the performance there. I, and I want to I come back to this for that as well as DevOps itself, we're now moving to serverless architecture, microservice infrastructures code, building things like Legos is the way I describe it. We have new t uh, titles, the site reliability engineer, the SDET, right? Instead of just performance person or quality assurance um, engineer. The problem that I'm seeing, and this is my question to you, and I, I wanna get your feedback is, in my opinion, we're not getting enough education in school about performance when we're talking about development. They teach people how to develop co with code, a language, what, whatever, but there's no chapter on and it needs to perform well and here's how you have the rigor to do that. And because of that, we've become so focused on functionality. There's an assumption by companies that everybody in a scrum team or every site reliability engineer understands performance and they know all the concepts of it but that's not actually the case. And I feel like that's sort of the root of the issue because I feel performance is a niche skill set. It always has been. And I think at some point it needs to be separated out. So I kind of agree with that system team approach, but kind of in a different way. So would you agree that if you get down and dirty with performance, it is sort of a niche skill set because you can't know everything about everything. Okay, we are in St. Louis, Missouri at the uh, performance tour event that we just held here. And I am with Vince Jones. I've known Vince for quite a while. We've been friends on LinkedIn, following each other. Vince always puts out interesting articles and references, and we just sort of kind of play off each other with that, um, follow each other. Tell me a little bit about you and uh, just some of the history of your involvement with performance. Uh, it's very interesting. I've been uh, in the IT industry for about 30 years. I started out actually working in a metrology lab doing advanced uh, 
software programming through IEEE 4088 interfaces doing uh, metrology with wow. you know, test equipment. So I worked a lot with microwaves and lasers, and that's kind of how I got my start right out of college. Uh, and then I kind of went into the private sector and started working in software development and operations, enterprise architecture, and eventually performance engineering because I could use that whole stack from both software and infrastructure perspective. Sure. You know, so um, so that's kind of a little bit background uh, for me. Worked for a lot of Fortune 500 companies uh, doing performance engineering. Um, you know, a lot of uh, optimization, a lot of JVM, a lot of JEE specific tool sets. I see. Type thing. So you have worked for some pretty big companies yeah. and today, what do you see as the biggest um, problem in IT regarding performance? Because, I mean, yeah. there's a lot of them, but like, yeah. what's the biggest pain point that you're seeing over and over? You know, I, I see a lot of uh, corporations doing the quick hit, um, uh, check in the box type testing. So high velocity, whip it out the door, we'll catch the big stuff. We won't do the deep analysis, we won't step left, we won't uh, try to cut costs, we'll just absorb that technical debt and and it just grows and it snowballs and snowballs and snowballs until the maintenance costs are just outrageously expensive. Mm -hmm. I think the uh, what I see the, the most difficult thing is stepping left and getting involved in the teams, into the architecture, into the software design, into the code, uh, and profiling that before it gets farther right. Um, I think everybody talks about it. I don't think anybody actually um, has been doing it. So what, how so, is what's the easiest yeah. way to get started doing that? Um, I think the easiest way to get doing that is is to be embedded in those teams. So actually have somebody that actually is working uh, with the teams all the way through the architecture, all the way through the design, being uh, involved to know what's going on, or at fixed touch points against the software development cycle. Uh, so uh, you know, but you have to know what's going on. You have to be involved and engaged in requirements all the way through to development to write. Um, so I think that's uh, that's what's missing in a lot of companies that I see today. Uh, and I think that is really the key to building great performance and great ar performance architectures instead of getting to the end and reacting rec to technical debt or scaling up horizontally in services real, or servers real quickly, uh, extensive cost. It'd be nice to optimize it up front, not go through the headache of reacting uh, and, and, and build in the lower cost model. Yeah. You manage a team right now of yeah. people but it's not just yeah. performance testers, right? Would you consider your, the skill sets that you're trying to build yeah. performance engineering and more than just testing? And So I work in a group and I, I work to do the performance optimization stuff here at, um, uh, um, you know, uh, lately. And then I've have managed over a lot of teams before in different companies. Um, I think, uh, you know, it's, it's more than testing, a lot more than testing. So there's testing, optimization, there's capacity planning, and I think there's, logging metrics and all those types of things and then how how manual and, and automation and, and artificial intelligence and modeling all plays into that and how they're all kind of interrelated and intertwined. Uh, so I think the optimization piece that I specifically work in, uh, you know, that involves more of the stepping left. Uh, so, you know, I heavily get engaged with a lot of teams but um, uh, so that I know what's going on all the way from left to right. but. That is a challenge that I think I've seen be the greatest challenge is just looking at testing and not true performance engineering. And it's not yeah. just a check. It's not just a uh, a flip switch, a switch that you flip, I should say, to get there, right? So yeah. if some company's watching this and they go, "We want to do that," give us some kind of expectation of how long that's going to take. Is it months? Is it years? Is it? I mean, because it's definitely not just overnight, right? Right. So. Right. I think uh, first you got to hire for the skill set. And I think that that means you have to hire somebody that has worked across uh, the platforms of development, operations, and performance. And so somebody that can go across the whole stack. And I think that's the greatest challenge. And once you find those folks, I think then you matrix them over to the teams or, or you have them direct report to the teams. Um, I think it starts out as a matrix, a checkpoint, a periodic. Uh, because there's always that things where people are tying things close to the vest and they only want to share certain things about progress after they've made certain decisions and they won't want you slowing them down or reducing their velocity. So I think if you have those meetings at key checkpoints, uh, as a starting point, that gets you started stepping left and you get interjected and you get in the communication channel. And they see once you start adding value and once you start building that brand as being an expert, uh, you can quickly get into that that role and, and not only achieve the high velocity, but you achieve the high velocity without the technical debt. Right. Um, so I think um, 
I think building that brand and getting that trust and, and finding that expertise is the greatest challenge. And then you start with touch points, then you make, you get deeper and deeper and deeper. Um, you can go too far that way too. I've, mm -hmm. I've done that where it, you have folks uh, pretty much end up being the whole tech lead for the whole project. So you got to watch that. You want to stick to that performance scope as you go sure. and capacity scope and not, uh, not go over the top. You know. Excellent, excellent advice. Yeah. Thank you, Vince. Yeah. Thanks for being on the performance tour. Thank and you, uh, we will see you out on the road. Hey, after that interview, which was great, got to try something in St. Louis, right? How about a little sugar fire? Now the number one barbecue restaurant recommended to me in St. Louis. Let's try it.